getting seeds off to a good start could be the biggest challenge you have to getting a great harvest later on. Hey homesteaders, today I'm going to share my secret for virtually guaranteeing 100% of the seeds I plant grow into a healthy plant. Most gardeners have probably heard of the idea of pre-soaking your seeds to give them a head start on growing. You soak your seeds overnight and plant them the next day. That big drink of water they took kicks the seeds growth factors into high gear, giving the seed a big leg up on growing. Problem is, you still don't know how many seeds you need to plant. You don't know which ones are gonna grow. So you have to throw extra ones into the hole or into the furrow, and then you have to go back later on to weed them out, to thin them out. I hate thinning out seedlings. Seems like such a waste, doesn't it? Most gardeners have probably also heard of the idea of pre-sprouting seeds. That's where you take a damp paper towel, sprinkle some seeds into the paper towel, fold it over, and you stick it into a plastic baggie. And you take the bag and you put it into a, a warm area, like on top of your refrigerator. And in a day or two, you've got a small taproot that's grown out. Well, that can help on cutting down and having to go out and thin out the seedlings afterwards, because you know exactly how many seeds are going to be growing, so that's exactly how many you plant. My experience with pre-sprouting has been the taproot of the seed gets tangled up in the paper towel. Now, of course, you can cut up the paper towel into small pieces and plant the seed and the paper towel into the planting hole. But again, my experience has been that it absorbs too much water and that can lead to rot and damping off of the seedling. My secret method that guarantees almost 100% of the seeds grow into a healthy plant without having to go back and thin them out isn't really a secret at all. All I've done is combine the two seed starting methods, pre-soaking and pre-sprouting, into one simple process. I take the number of seeds I want, and maybe a few extra just in case I have a couple of bad seeds or whatever, and I soak them in a cup of water overnight, just like you would in the pre-soaking method. However, instead of taking them out of that overnight bath, I leave them in there until the taproot forms. And that usually takes maybe a full day, two days, at the outside, three days. I know right then and there how many plants I'm gonna have because I can see which seeds are growing. And those are the ones I'm going to plant. I then take a pair of tweezers and carefully transfer the seed into the planting hole. Voila, a successfully planted seed that's almost guaranteed to grow so long as I give it water and plenty of light as soon as it sprouts. Here I'm planting 16 radish seeds. I actually pre-soaked 24 seeds, a 50% margin of safety, and had about 20 seeds form a taproot. I followed the square foot gardening method of gardening. So in a one foot by one foot space, I'll grow 16 radishes. You can just use two fingers and make your plant spacings like this, or you can make a completely useless template like this one to ensure even spacing. Either way, transfer the seeds into the planting hole, cover them lightly. I'm using a sand and sawdust mixture here, and water them. It's as simple as that. In a few days, the seeds will sprout, and I can virtually guarantee almost 100% of them will grow, barring some birds or other pesky nuisance coming in and pecking them out. Thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Make sure you like, subscribe, and favorite the video. And if you found it useful and think someone else can as well, consider sharing it with them. If this is your first time with us, I'd love to have you subscribe to the channel. We're suburban homeowners, and we're trying to introduce as much of the homesteading lifestyle and self-reliant living into our lives as much as possible. So join us on the journey and share in the comments box below your own experiences with seed starting, gardening, or any other facet of suburban homesteading. And check out our blog, www.theruggedhomestead.blogspot.com. Thanks for hanging out with us. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time.